The Logitech MX Keys is one of the most popular keyboards Logitech has ever made. And it is also the keyboard I wanted to buy for a long time but always hesitated because of its price tag. And today I'm gonna tell you about my experience using this keyboard and whether this would be a great addiction to your setup or not. So let's get started. The MX Keys is available in two versions. You have the Mac only version that is specifically made for Apple computers but you can still use it on Windows PC. But the user experience won't be as good as if you went with the standard version. The reason for this is because the Mac only version doesn't include things like Windows shortcut layout which is very handy if you work with both Windows and Mac computer. Then you have the standard version which is compatible with Mac, Windows and Linux and it comes with both Windows and Mac keyboard layout. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is what you get in the box. So let's take a look. Once you open the box, the first thing you want to grab is your keyboard. Then you have your palm rest if you bought the MX Plus version. I don't really use this, I just bought it because the normal version was out of stock everywhere. So basically I had no choice. You also get the user documentation. USB-A to USB-C to charge your keyboard A USB receiver in case you have problems with Bluetooth connectivity or your computer doesn't have Bluetooth And that's it, that's all you get when you buy the Logitech MX keys Now let's talk about my first impressions about this keyboard This is a full size and low profile keyboard that actually looks and feels quite compact However. When I got my hands on this keyboard for the first time, the first thing that I noticed was the weight. It does feel heavy, especially if you are used to having a small keyboard like I did, but this is not a bad thing. Having a bit of weight helps keep your keyboard in place. Now, the build quality of this keyboard is great. For the price tag, that's exactly what I was expecting. It feels solid and well built, and when I compare it to my old keyboard, the Logitech K380, there is a huge difference not only in terms of the build quality but also the overall typing experience. If I knew the difference would be this big, I would have got the Logitech MX keys a long time ago. Now when it comes to typing on this keyboard, it feels great. The keys have a round design which I really like and they are supposed to match the shape of your fingers for a better typing experience and by using it. I can tell you that it does exactly that. As I'm always on my computer, I really appreciate how stable the keys are. There are no signs of wobbling, which results in a consistent typing experience, and also having a higher angle, for me personally, I feel like it makes it extremely comfortable when you spend a long period of time typing on your keyboard like I do. Now I'm going to do a simple sound test, so you guys have a better idea how the keyboard sounds. Now let's take a look at some of the features this keyboard has to offer. Let's start with this feature called Smart Illumination. So basically Logitech has implemented proximity sensors inside the keyboard. And as your hands approach them, the keys light up and then fade off whenever you leave the desk. These sensors are also capable of detecting the lighting conditions and can automatically adjust the backlighting brightness for you. Another feature that is worth mention is the Logitech Flow. This feature is very handy if you use both Windows and Mac computers at the same time, as it allows you to seamlessly use the keyboard and the Logitech Master Mouse between different computers. To show you how it works, I have here with me a Mac and a Windows computer. And if I move the mouse into the screen of the other computer, the keyboard will also follow. This allows you to use both Windows and Mac computer at the same time with only a single mouse and a keyboard. And apart from that, you can also transfer files between the two computers. All you have to do is just copy and paste. Unfortunately, to use this feature, you will need to buy the Logitech Master Mouse. If you don't have one yet, the MX Keys 
still allows you to connect up to three different devices and switch between them with just a single press of a button. Now the battery life on this thing is quite impressive. It comes with a built-in rechargeable battery which according to Logitech can last up to 5 months on a full charge with backlighting turned off and up to 10 days with the backlighting turned on. So if you are going to use the backlighting most of the time, you will need to charge your batteries often. And to do that, you can use the USB-C cable that comes included in the box. Now, the good thing is that you can still use the keyboard while it's charging. For me personally, I don't use the backlighting. The last time I charged this keyboard was December last year. And at the moment, I still have basically half the battery life left, which is super impressive. If you are concerned about when to charge your keyboard, then you shouldn't. Because this keyboard will let you know when the battery is running low. So whenever the battery hits 10%, this small LED here at the top will change from green to red, then you will know that it's time to go and look for that USB-C cable that you have no idea where it is anymore. This keyboard also features an on and off power switch button, which is something you should use if you are not using your keyboard for a long period of time so you can save some battery life. And it also features a caps lock light indicator, which is something I really missed in my old keyboard. I have to admit, Logitech did a great job with this keyboard. This is exactly what I was looking for. It is the best keyboard I have used so far and I intend to keep it for many years. So if you are thinking about buying one, then I definitely recommend it. Well, that's all for today guys, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.